Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee Girls. In today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for some DIY stuff that I found on Pinterest. The first DIY is going to be a DIYing a flat lay base so that you can take flat lay pictures, which are aerial pictures used for social media or your blog or your Instagram for products or for something you wanna showcase that's an item. Um, this is the blog post that I use. I'll have a link down below. And for the second DIY, I decided to do DIY scrunchies. I've done this DIY before. I love this DIY. Um, it's easy if you know how to use a sewing machine or if you don't, it's okay. If you know somebody that knows how to work a sewing machine, then that could really help. But it is a sewing type thing. This is the blog post that I used. I'll have it linked down below as well. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And DIYs are so fun to do in the summer. So. Go on Pinterest if you guys want any like fun things to do if you're bored or you want to do something cute for your dorm room for school, whatever. Enjoy! Shopping was really good. So this is what I got from Home Depot. I got three two foot by two foot boards. This was supposed to be a fiber board, but they were all out of fiber board, so I had to pay for the more expensive wood board. Then I got... And I'm showing my sister too. <laughs> um, I got this. Is this camera having a hard time focusing now? Okay. Is it on auto or manual? It's on auto. Okay, so I have this patch and paint spackling that you put on to the wood boards first to give it texture. Okay, I have this putty knife, three basic paint brushes, two inches, that I'm gonna dip into the three different paints that I got. The first one, there. this is a sample, by the way, so we didn't pay for anything crazy. Uh, I got this color, which you didn't have to pay for the is sample. called parchment paper. No, you have yeah, to pay for the sample. Then I got ter terrazzo tan, mm. and then I got this. Okay, yeah, it's called Dill. All by Glyden. And so, the first step that I have to do today is paint on the boards this spackle because it gives it texture. And then it has to sit overnight and crust. And then the next day I paint over it. Okay, so here we have the first board done. I just used that spackled, spackling paint. Oh boy, he really wants attention right now. Yeah? Oh, <gasps> no, no! <gasps> ah! Ah! Sweetie! Ooh, you're so cute. Yeah, but overall it looks really good. Now I just have to let it dry um, and I'm gonna do those other two boards. So here's what the board looks like. It's the next day, dried overnight. Um, I'm gonna paint over it with this Terrazzo Tan Color by Glyden. This is just a sample. So I just asked Home Depot if they could give me a sample and it's enough to cover this whole thing. Hopefully, based on the blog that I took, they also asked me what finish I wanted. They showed me a bunch. I just picked eggshell. I was like, I don't know what I want. <laughs> I didn't know if I should do fully matte, and I didn't think glossy would be the best. So I just did one in between, which turned out to be this.
Now why do the green one? This is my other board since I have three. This color is in dill. I have my brush. So I just put them outside in our garage, ironically next to all our other paint cans, but um, yeah, here's the white one right now, um, here's the green one, and the terracotta colored one. So I'm just in the backyard with my sister, and I took a flat lay picture that I want to show you guys how I laid it out on the white board that I did. Okay, so this is what the setup looks like. I'm just on my deck. It has perfect overcast lighting. Um, the, I mean, like the sky just looks white because the clouds are so beautifully creating a nice, perfect overall even lighting for this. I decided to go for my new Bible. It's an ESV Bible. I got it off of Daily Grace. It looks like this. I'll have a link down below, but I'm really excited. I wanted an ESV Bible for school. Right now I'm using a CSB Bible. So I did the hat, I did the Bible, cause you know, the Bible goes with the prayer journal and the typewriter honestly just looks cute. Adds to the journaling feel and the hat is there for aesthetic purposes, but it just looks great. Oh, a leaf flew on it. That might've been cute for a picture, but I actually did no flowers, but the picture turned out really cute. So this is what the picture looks like. We'll probably post it on our Instagram soon, so you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek. Where is my recent one? Okay. Recently I also did a flat lay on the terracotta colored board. It looks like this. I just did it with my Bible and I uh, ended up posting this one to my personal Instagram, Tate C. Marie. But overall, I'm finding really good use for this. Also, in Ashley's latest video, she used my three flat lay boards. Coffee and Bible time. Coffee and Bible time. So we'll have that video linked down below, but it's her be still quiet time routine. Now I'm going to be showing you guys our next, or my next DIY that I got off of Pinterest. And I need the help of my mother because she is a sewing expert. Did you go to college for sewing? Well, interestingly enough, actually, Tay, I do have a degree in textile chemistry. Isn't oh. That crazy. Today, specifically, I am making scrunchies and showing you guys, number one, because somebody asked if I could show it to you guys because I mentioned that I was making scrunchies before. Okay, so we need to fill the bobbin. Woohoo! That's so fun. <laughs> Yay! She's on her lunch break. Thank you for so graciously taking it off for me. Okay. I have this fabric. It's tie-dye. And I'm going to be putting it into scrunchies because I'm going to be helping lead a camp. A cabin. A camp, not lead a camp. I'm leading a cabin for a camp. And uh, I wanted to do something special for our camp girls. And making a scrunchie just felt right because they're kind of in and also so is tie-dye. If you don't have long hair, they look cute on your wrist too. Exactly. So this is what you guys are going to need if you want to do this. You're going to need to know how to A, work the sewing machine. You're going to need thread. You're going to need to know how to thread it. Or if you don't know how to thread it, then have your mother. <laughs> or your grandmother. You're going to want quarter inch elastic. Or you could do half inch elastic if you need something that'll be more supportive for your thick hair. Um, and what you're gonna be doing is you're going to first cut out your fabric 
into three inches by 26 inches. And then when you do that, if you're making one scrunchie, then all you have to do is cut one. Or if you want to make multiple, then make multiple. And then you're going to want to also cut your elastic, but this time to eight inches. And then we'll go move on from there. But right now I'm just going to start cutting. Tay, which do you want to use the blue thread? Or the purple? Well, I figured we could do one on the top and one on the bottom. One. Usually you have matching. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What kind of sewing machine do you have? This is a Singer. And yeah, the model is 6235, but I think it's pretty old. It's pretty so, old. But it still works amazing. also use chalk pencils to help outline on the fabric so that I know where to cut. So this is what it looks like now. I cut eight inches of the elastic in each and I don't know why it's being kind of funky and curling up. I mean I know why it's because it was bound up in this little tiny shape for so long but I'm hoping that it'll kind of bend normal <laughs> when I need to make it but now what I'm gonna do is take each of these fabrics and fold them right sides together which means that the fabric that you want to see like that you like you're gonna fold inside so like this just like that and then I'm just going to sew right along the edge so that it's nice and closed up we're not doing anything with the elastic yet but we're just gonna fold the right sides together and then start sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance which that's what this website says which by the way <laughs> I'm kind of laughing because I just realized the website is like called the sweet the sweeter side of mommy hood um, yeah, I'm not a mother, but, uh, I am definitely taking ideas off of her website for myself, so I am being the mother to the child, which is myself. I'm both the mom and the child. <laughs> okay. was making scrunchies are severely easy right but when you have to turn it from right sides together to right sides out it, it gets so like the whole do you see this all girl I gotta try to maneuver my way through this thing it's so hard it hates me it doesn't want to come out I mean, what I didn't show you was that I've been trying to dig up this hole right here for maybe 10... Oh, the stitching did not just do that on me. We're about to fight. Oh, we're about to have a fight. Well, the stitching broke. Wow. Live news, everybody. Apparently, I did not do that one good enough. But guess what else? I'm not going to sweat it. Not gonna sweat it. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going back and shoving this thing right sides together again. Absolutely not. Forget about that. Forget about that. I'm just gonna have to sew it on the outside. What a travesty. 
which means the stitching is gonna show. See, it's not the end of the world, but at the same time, like the whole reason why I put them right sides together to begin with sewing was so that there wouldn't be any stitching on the outside. So I kind of just defeated my own purpose <laughs> of that. Uh, the tears aren't here yet, but they, they will be coming. And through the process of making these scrunchies, I've thought to myself at least 10 times, maybe you should just go buy them for these girls. And uh, yeah, after this little stitch just popped open, I'm close. Try to dig a pencil in there. It didn't really help. time of me just turning them all over so yeah they're all turned over right sides up there was uh, only like two that I had to go back in and just stitch up one I showed you already this little guy's been sewn up travesty but I'll just give it to myself I need to make a note of that but now all I have to do is hook the elastic pieces that I cut up with a little safety pin. Yeah, so. Looks like I need to find safety pins. So I don't have that. I'm just gonna slide these into the safety pin. Literally, all I do, slide it into the safety pin and then sew the ends of the of the tube together and then it's a scrunchie I mean like I'm telling you guys this is easy if I would have made these four inch width instead of three inch width I would not have been turning them out for two hours big mistake it's <laughs> depressing okay a little more of a turnout for my arm, but it's being shy. Can't really help that, but uh, this is just getting embarrassing for me. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of the work and then come back and show you guys the finished products. <laughs> I'm really surprised my eyes aren't twitching at this point. Okay. These are the finished products. Looks like I have a leg warmer but on my hand. But yeah, here they are. Guys, this took me, not even kidding you, three days. If I cranked it out, I could have got it done in eight hours. For but someone days. who's like only making one. But someone who's only making one? It you could get this hard. done fast. Oh. Let me show you what it looks like in my hair. Cute. Hope you enjoyed those DIYs. You're lucky because you didn't have to go through all the painful parts with me. I didn't mention it, but I ended up breaking a needle on the sewing machine. Oh, you broke a needle? Yeah. Okay. Not the first time I've done it. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. A lot of DIYs, but it was so much fun. Pinterest is the perfect place for it, and I'm definitely gonna do more before I go to school if I have the time. But I'll see you guys in our next vlog.